Parents will soon have more control over the video games their children are playing. A new R18 category will clearly show which games are suitable for younger players, while also giving adults access to more explicit content. John Hill has the details. This is Call of Duty Black Ops 2, just released. It's the hottest video game in the world, depicting what many would regard as extreme violence. They want a fight! We give them a fight! What we can't show you are graphic scenes of victims being decapitated with machetes, others being burned alive in brutal combat scenes. In the US, Black Ops 2 is classified as suitable for players 17 and older, but in Australia it has an MA15 Plus classification, the highest available. At the moment we don't have an 18 Plus category for video games. That means the game is either banned or it's available for people from the age of 15 and over. That will change on the 1st of January when a new R18 classification brings video games into line with movies. Gamers have welcomed the changes. It's good to see that um, us as adults have the actual option now to go and make our own decision if we want to see any kind of depicted violence on screen. This makes it easier for parents. When they go into the store, they can look at the game and see if it's 18 or over, they know that this game is not suitable for their kids. 75% of gamers are now over 18. Their average age is 32 and they've been playing games for 12 years or more. Gaming is now an adult hobby. Those people have grown up with games and continue to choose games as their hobby. Uh, and there's a lot of mature games out there now. But some video games will still be banned, especially those depicting drug use, sexual violence, torture or extreme physical injuries. John Hill, 10 News.